Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the page object model. So let's begin. So what is page object model? Page object model is basically a design pattern which creates a repository for your objects where you can store all your web page elements. In simple words, in page object model, we have a separate file for locators, actions or methods and the test cases. Okay. So what are the core benefits of using this design pattern so there are three core benefits of using the design pattern the first one is the code reusability then the code readability and the third is code maintenance so how these three benefits will help us so because we are creating the three different files here right so in this way the reading the code is very easy because we know that where our locators are present where our elements are present where our actions are present and how we are calling it in our test cases so readability is easy and obviously maintainability is also very easy tomorrow if in your application there is a change in terms of a locator you simply open the locator file change the locator and you are done right uh, and the third is reusability because once you have a separate files you can call them as much as possible in your test cases so these are the core three benefits and one thing i need to tell you here is that this page object model is not limited to selenium or cypress it's a design pattern it is not dependent on any tool you can implement this design pattern on rush assured you can implement this on the playwright cypress selenium and so on so uh, let's uh, see more about the page object model here and let's take an example of login page so what we will do is that we will create a login page test case file and it would be a separate file okay then we will be creating a file for the login page again and this particular file will be having the elements and locators of this particular login page right and then we have a third file for the login page again and in this particular file we would be having the actions and methods okay so now look into more about these three steps okay so in the login page test case what we will be having so we will be having the steps test steps for to login into the page for example you will be providing the username password and clicking on the login button so these are the three steps you need to perform in order to log in into a page so these steps will be in this particular login test case uh, file then you have a login page um, where we have the elements and locators so in this particular file you will be having the locators for this particular login scenario or the test case where you have a locator for the username password and a locator for the login button and then we have a third login page uh, file where we have uh, actions or method so we need to perform so once we have identified these particular fields and button we need to perform some actions so actions would be basically we would be providing input in these fields in in username and password and we would be clicking on the button right so let's dive into the whole process how it gonna work so first is that we will be having the login page where we need to identify the locators so this is the first step we need to do we need to identify the all elements with respect to their locators and we will place in this particular file then we have uh, actions and methods so once we have identified the locators we need to perform some action on those elements then we have a final file of the test case where we will be calling those elements with their actions so that we can create the steps step one two or three so basically uh, call created locators in the actions file so we have identified the locators here we have identified the elements here and we will be calling those locators here in our methods or actions uh, file and we will combine those locators with actions and finally what we will do is that we will be implementing those action on locators and call them in our test cases so this is how the basic 
page upload model works so in our upcoming tutorials what we will do is that we will uh, start creating an architecture first using cypress and then what we will do is that we will step by step implement this architecture so first what we will do is that we will create a complete single file a linear script and then uh, we will convert that into the page object model design pattern we when we have these three separate files thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial